Hello everyone, it's Monica of Creekside Blooms. Now I'm in the gazebo in my backyard, so we're gonna do the part two of the Easter Garden tour. So first I want to show you the day look of my chandelier. So it's right there. So I'll show you what I got done and what I still have to do. So in this bed, I done the edging and I merged and I oh look at those bugs. I don't even know where they are. Do you guys see them? So many flies. Tiny little guys. So this is a cotonia aster here and it started to make a few leaves. Always nice to see when they leaf out and the dogwood but first let's look at the lines of the bed from here so it has kind of like something around in there like the um, willow and then something tall right there the lilac and then something evergreen and then something even taller here the um, privet and the dogwood uh, and then towards the edge it goes down again with the cotoniaster and um so uh, these are my uh, shrubs that stay in there all winter long and then i have the rose in here and the um, Again, there's those bugs. It's actually nice to see something alive in here after all the snow we had. So the peony starting to pop in there. Some bulbs starting to come up. So the gazebo I made a bed last year, so this is its first year. Originally, I only had the Annabelle hydrangea there and the other hydrangea there and now I connect the whole thing to make a bed around the gazebo and I'm gonna have to work on this. This is see how the edging is not good and all that. And in here, those here are um, husk cups, but I only planted them last year and that's how they look with a year growth. And now I'm going to show you what I'm the most excited about the ones that, that I planted the year before. So in here I have all those. And then as we go around, I have some more on this side. So all this bed, I'm going to extend it more out. And um, think about annuals and what other things I want to plant in here. I want to do something that grows taller in here. Maybe some vines and um the all this coffee grounds that i spread in here um, to acidify the soil for this hydrangea uh, so it's gonna be nice and blue this is the blueberry that's how the branches look like those buds look pretty big and healthy on it i put some soil acidifier in there as well Oh, here there's some daffodils coming up look at that who said we don't have any bulbs when everybody else in the world has even in Canada we have summer I promise stick with me we do have summer in here there is a um, columbine that's starting to make its appearance the peony here started to come a little bit more but what i am excited about i will show you right here so they're the husk cups see guys those are the husk cups so they are supposed to be like blueberries but they are easier to grow and hardier and they already have blooms so these are actually the fruits of this bush. 
so these I planted two years ago. So comparing to the ones that I have by my gazebo, then now they are one year. And here I have some iris that I have to cut back. This one's a blueberry, just to compare. This one also has coffee grounds. And this is another house cup. I have a whole bunch of them. I think, oh, but this one's looking pretty nice. The barberry started a tiny bit to push some leaves. And now let's go down the hill. And I will show you what I've done in here. I worked in here yesterday a lot. Let's take a look at the strawberries for a minute. Kind of small, but they're coming. I haven't worked in those beds at all, because this is the time to try to get any of the weeds that I might have. In here, there's some carrot that got seeded. I'm gonna leave it because uh, it's going to make those um, pretty flowers that they look like Queen Anne's lace. Here, there's a twig I better get out of here. I see a tiny flower right there. I'm gonna have to check it out. It's a great hyacinth. I never planted this here. The apple tree started to make some buds. And I'm gonna show you. So I don't know if you guys remember in here the huge cherry pile that I had that looked like a mess. I raked all the grass and I got everything in this area. And uh, if I learned anything from making those flower arrangements, I learned that you, if you have a good armature, you can make anything stand up. So that's what I did. All those cherry branches that I had in here, I stood them all up and I made like a fence of them. So I gave them some armature. And they're all standing up. I might tie some of them with a little bit of wire if needed. And in here I'm not sure what I'm gonna do or what I'm gonna try to grow in this area. Because my husband's always fighting in the garden for more areas to make more and more workshops and I'm always fighting for more and more areas to plant flowers. So it's a give and take. Let's look at the creek. The creek looks nice and clear. It'll be so nice when everything lifts out in here and it's not gonna look so Bear. Look at the squirrel right there. I'm wondering how they cross the creek. Look at that. What did she goes into? She goes, oh, she's drinking from the creek. Do you guys see it? She's drinking some water from the creek. It's black right there in the corner. I wish I could go closer, but it's so muddy. And I definitely don't have the right shoes. 
Oh, he's drinking. He's still drinking. I never knew what they do. You know, she didn't cross. You see it? It's going up in there. Okay. So here's another horse cup. That's doing pretty well. It was really cold last night. It was in the minus. I think it was probably minus four. Because yesterday the uh, buds looked even plumper. But now I hope they didn't get any damage. Because it was really cold last night. I see some violets around here. Tiny little violets. Arborvite is doing pretty well. It amazes you how well they grow in the clay soil. Like it's nothing but clay in here with all the clay that was brought from the creek. But the leaves are doing just great. This one's a white cedar. And look at those. This is the false pyria that I like the leaves so much. But I was thinking to get a branch to use it in my arrangement for tomorrow. But they still look kind of tiny. Maybe I'll hold on them for another few days. Don't get muddy. Do not get muddy, okay? Because then she goes and she sits on my spot on the couch. You better behave. Oh, here is the curly willow that we planted together, remember? Well, when I brought that curly willow and I just stuck it in here in the snow. And look at that. It's already pushing growth. And uh, I didn't show you the other one. The other one's over here. This is the willow that a lady gave me at the church Kali beautiful oh I see some more green leaves even I'm gonna get in the mud to look at those green leaves right there this is a honeysuckle bush no getting in the mud. That's looking kind of scruffy is a sage plant. I'm gonna have to get better at drying some sage. I got an awesome drying rack this year. I will show you guys. And my plan is to put it in the greenhouse. And, and it has like a seven or eight uh, layer to dry things and they're dried inside let's see on this one yeah right there there's a the green bud they say of the climate is that they like to have their feet in the dark and their uh, the tops in the sky so that's what I'm planning to do in here. I have um, some salvia that's growing here, so it's going to block all the bottom part. Some liatris coming up. Right there. Yeah. I am going to put some mulch this year on the slope because I learned that uh, slope skin the erosion can be controlled with mulch you wouldn't believe that the mulch actually doesn't slide down the hill but it actually acts like a sponge and holds the soil which i can confirm that the, i don't know if you've seen it on my ramp thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye